it's that time of year again, boys and girls. Playoff hockey will be launching tomorrow. And I'm with Sof, and we're discussing this first round opinion, thoughts, and if the three peat this year is going to be possible. What's yeah? Uh, this is um, this is uh, pretty cool. Uh, I'm back here again, and uh, we're pretty much going to be talking about the NHL playoffs. Well, we're mostly focusing on one club right now. That's right. And I'm, I'm sure I, you all know what that is. I might have a video, guys, uh, either tomorrow about uh, a separate video who I think is going to win the cup, but but right now let's just talk talk about this. Regarding Mike Sots and if a three peats going to happen this year. So Penguins are playing the Flyers first round. Last time they burst was 2012. And holy hell, it was a disaster what happened. We ended up losing in six, but that was a long time ago. Me personally, seeing that series, the Flyers, oh my god. <laughs> well, let's look at what they've done this year, the Pens. The Pens won 47 games, 29 losses, and six overtime losses with 100 points. Finishing second for the third straight year. Which is impressive, but but am I worried about them for this playoff run? Hell yeah, I'm desperately worried. Yeah, yeah. Let's they're, start off with the basics. They're in, a, they're in a lot of trouble. Let's start off with the basics. The depth they lost of last year, when they lost better in leadership and Matt Cullen, Kuznet, Benino, Trevor Daly, and and their goaltender Mark Andre Fleury. We knew it was going to be a rebuild this year for the Cup for a third straight time. And they have gotten that depth back, sort of. They got like players like Jamie Alessic, Derek Bassard, and who, yeah. else, who else did we get this year that was new? Who's that? Uh, oh, Riley. Now I remember Riley. <laughs> yeah, we got him. But this year, the way I look at the Penguins this year, let's start off with goaltending, the most important. They are in trouble when it comes to goaltending. There's no other way around it. Matt Murray. Yeah, it's just, and it, and it's just mostly just common sense to be honest. It's they're just it, they're just not good. I mean, what else can I say? Like they're just they're not they're not good enough, I guess. Well, let's look what they did last uh, this year. We all know we lost our veteran goaltender back up in Marc Andre Fleury, who played a huge yeah. role last year when Murray got hurt. But with no Fleury this year, it's a scary thing to think about because if Murray gets hurt or gets cold, we have D. Smith. Which probably will. We have D. Smith as the goaltender to back up, but he doesn't have playoff NHL experience or fully developed yet. And it's sca that really scares me for a playoff run. And it's just, an, it's just another case of them hiring players too early. Like I said, I'm all for getting players for the future, but right but this now... This isn't about for the future, a, though. A Murray's our future, though, and D. Smith... Should have been our backup. Yeah, well, yeah look, he's, he's going to keep on having injuries, and w one time he's just going to push it way too far. He's just going to push it a bit too far, and then y you know what's going to happen after that. Yeah. Um, he he's not going to be able to play anymore. Well, it's Murray, just, well Murray's had a lower body injury and a concussion this year, which he's missed a good chunk of games this year. And I'll, yeah. show, the, I'll show the edits in the videos of West, but... I just don't think uh, the Penguins will be able to win the cup for a third straight year if we have goaltender problems because Matt Murray does not look like this, look like the same stud he was last year. And another thing <laughs> about D. Smith, he is like, proven he can be the backup, but he should have been the backup all year when the Emmy got uh, waived. Jari should have yeah. been the AHL development. That's what it should have been the whole time. Because I know we're not going to get Jari back up. No, no. Because he needs to be in the it's AHL. 
Yep, I said yeah. this for video in multiple videos of Penguins chat that Jari should have been the AHL development or be playing in the NHL before we decided to have D. Smith. Another thing that worries me is for this playoff run is their scoring on 5v5, which was their bread and butter of the last two seasons. The way they were last year scoring 5v5, it was amazing. Like, yeah. Oh, but we were being carried by a power play this year. Well, we gotten better in like recent months, but is it enough soft? You explain what you've seen in games from Honestly, it's it's it, like you said, it's definitely getting a ton ton better than we were before, but honestly, no. I I just I just don't think it's enough to ha to handle the playoffs. It's just, it can't be like and like ima imagine imagine this scenario, right? We we got we got decently good players, but we got meh players, right? But mm. they just it, it, they just don't have enough experience, honestly. They, they just don't. Well, I if you look at if you look at if you look at the players besides the stars like Crosby, Malkin, Kessel, Latang, which and they're all the goats. They're all like the OGs and the, the kind of the higher ups in the Penguins. But, but look at but, all of our new players that that, that don't have much experience. about the players we've had for the past two seasons and a half because we got Jay Getzel who's a stud at scoring. Yeah. We got Brian Rust yeah, who who we can count on when in hairy situations when he's on the penalty kill. And he can really deke out a goaltender with the backhand and get yeah. a shorthanded goal. But if you look at our uh, players like Connor Sheary, Rust, Getzel, Mata, with all those uh, veteran players gone, it's their year to do it without uh, veterans helping them out and giving them advice. This is nerve wracking. Our defense yeah. is our defense is just complete awful this year. More because. Mm -hmm. And it got even worse when we got rid of Ian Cole for Derek Bassard. Oh my God, Jesus, dude! It was crazy. It was honestly crazy. I, I, I just can't believe. I just can't believe, um, that we just, we, we, we just, we're actually, we, we might just get smacked. Like, I, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. we might just get smacked. Well, Cause we, <laughs> go on, go on. It's just, it's because. <sighs> It kind of it kind of worries me, but at the same time, I'm like, all right, maybe we won't do that bad, but at the same time, we probably will. Like it's it's just it's not it's not like it's a discussion that can be made, but in my opinion, I I just I, I feel like we're gonna lose. In my opinion, I'm trying to have faith, but for our core, also what we got, we got players. The only uh better in defenseman we have right now. Besides with hang is Justin Schultz. That guy is a stun at slap yeah. shots in the power play. So so is Mata, but Mata is slow game back when it comes to three on, uh, two on ones, and that's something we're going to be in trouble with. If our defense can't keep up with two on two ones, we're in trouble. Yeah, in big trouble. And honestly, it's just. <sighs> I, I kind of expected it. I, I'm not going to say I completely predicted it, but I am going to say I kind of expected it. And I, honestly, I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we lost the playoffs. Like, But I also wouldn't be surprised if, if we won. So it's kind of like half and half. Like I'm, I'm kind of at a... Well, we're underdogs this year. There shouldn't be much pressure on us, but the way we've been playing and the player we got front with Bassard which we finally have a centerman. We're under pressure this year because we'll probably be predict. Ah, oh, damn it! Predicted to win. Like, imagine if we had Ryan still somehow. Yes, yes, somehow yes. Stop. Time out for that. That's something that Philly, Washington, Blue Jackets, whoever we face in the second round, if we get past Philly, is that the hitting? Our players are gonna get bullied. They're gonna get hammered like crazy. Mm -hmm. And we will have players to injury, and we won't have Ryan Reeves and that muscle to get a spark going if we're down early in a game to get momentum after a fight. We got no one to protect our players this playoffs. We're going to get yeah. hurt bad. And 
What else can we say? Uh, penalties. nothing much other than penalties. Yeah. yeah, they gotta stay out of the penalty box this uh, playoffs. With Ian Cole gone, yeah. who blocked shots for us like crazy, I. It's all the players are gonna have to step up. <laughs> They're gonna have to block shots. They're gonna have to just be something. Well, since he left, but what also needs to get done is we gotta shoot a lot of pucks. We can't be also doing fancy plays constantly. We gotta shoot, and what they also gotta do is just be ready for intense plays. They gotta get the puck out of their zone without icing and tiring their players out too much because when you ice the puck out, it's going to affect you. Your players will be tired. And when you ice a puck, for those who don't know, you can't change. The only time we'll be good for uh, for getting a puck down the ice is uh, if we um, are on the penalty kill. As a Pens fan myself, guys, I honestly am scared, but I'm also going to try to believe. I gotta believe. Yeah, um, it's it's definitely uh, something to think about, and it, we could we could definitely win, but at the same time, we could definitely definitely lose. lose. Yeah, because so. is 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 the de is our defense good enough with the depth we got in from uh, Jamie Owesiak that we got from Dallas? Is it enough? Is Bassard our centerman that's going to help us? Is Riley going to be that Fort Wine centerman that can do it? The, another thing is, our young guys are going to have to step up more than they've ever done this year. Jake Getzel, Brian Ross, Sherry. Yeah. Mata. What also concerns me is some defense that are weak. You know that Matt Hunwick that we have on the team? Yeah, what about him? He is bad at turnovers. He causes a lot of turnovers, which is the, something the entire team can't afford to do. Yeah, especially, again, with the defense we've got and the entire team lineup that we've got. We just can't afford it. Here's some players I think that could help us win and get momentum. We already know we got stuns like Crosby, Malkin, Castle, uh, Watang, yeah. Justin. But what we also got is two players that can get in front of the net and deflect shots and also distract the goaltender, Patrick Hornquist. Man, that guy is something. Wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. Yep. He's been doing well near the end of the season. And another thing that brings us hope is Crosby. He's scoring finally. He wasn't scoring much well, this yeah. season in the <laughs> beginning. I think what Crosby... What? <laughs> what? You keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I think with Crosby getting hot and scoring now, I think it brings hope. That brings hope to the Penguins. I think that's just what we need. Yeah. So uh, it's the, for those definitely... that are watching that are Penguins fans like me, we're not trying to be all negative. We're just trying to stay at a realistic point because even the diehard fans have to admit sometimes that when there's concerns, you got to be able to admit it. Yeah, well, you've got to because if you list out the concerns, you might be able to make some predictions on what could happen in the playoff, and obviously that could be really good for your team because you'll be able to predict what could happen. So yeah, if you list all the if you list all you know the goods and the bads, that's a really good thing because you'll be able to list what's good and what's bad, yes. and then that way you'll be able to find out how well they do in the playoffs or in any type of season. Yep. What's your uh, thoughts on uh, players like um, Zach Aston Reese or Simon? Who do you think should be that um, right weapon? Who do you I think? I honestly think. <sighs> well, Zach's got a bit I... of Patrick Hornquist in and the way he deflects shots and yeah, he, he's that. one of the few players that I actually kind of believe in that he that he might do well. You know what I mean? He, he's one yeah. of the very few players that I actually trust. So yeah, I think I choose him. Like he, he's all right. He's okay. He's not too good, but I mean, he's not bad. You know what I mean? 
Well, we also got players that are scratched that I haven't seen in a while, like Carter Rowney, who was our Fort Wine centerman before uh, we got Rowney and Bassard came in. So, but if things were to go wrong, we would have to put Rowney back in because he's really good on the penalty kill, which we saw last year in Nashville in the series. Mm -hmm. he, he can kill off 12 minutes off the penalty. He's also, when I noticed that Malkin, the way he set out a game, you didn't see it, I bet, but he says we have to play with playoff mind, I think. With Malkin, the way he's been playing lately, he will be hungry to get yeah, going. definitely. What's something that can also hurt us? We talked about penalties. We talked about scoring 5v5. What else? Hmm. What is something else? Might want to drink the slurp, Kirk. <laughs> Yeah, but get you back up to 100. <laughs> what but, um, if I things honestly... were to go wrong? If things were to go, were, if things were to go wrong, and who can we get for reinforcements? If Jari's not going to be the one, what, what am I saying? If Murray gets hurt or D Smith, Jari's coming up. Uh, what, we're, yeah, but I I honestly don't think he'll be enough. He, he'll he'll be good for like maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know how long he'd be good for, but he, he will still be good, but he won't be, like, one player just isn't enough, you know what I mean? Well, it's, it, there's going to be injuries this playoffs. There's going to be, definitely. Um, yeah, 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 definitely. One player that I'm hoping to God is able to come up, he's been rookie uh, uh, player of the week for two uh, t weeks now in the AHL. We all know who he is, Penguins fans. He starts with a... D and he ends with an S in his last name. T drum roll, <laughs> please. What's his name, Sof? No, no clue because I was the pick and trap for that long. I'll give you the drum roll, though, Kirk. Daniel Sprong. You know him. There he is. <laughs> but what's oh, the way I look God. at Sprong? He can snapshot stuff good. I think he's going to come in handy. Very good. He's second to Crosby, in my opinion. Not yet. Not yet. Not he's, st he's still young mm. and developing, though. He's 20 right now. Yeah, he but he's, like one he's one of the best, youngest players that we've ever had. Well, you can't say that because uh, since you haven't been a fan for that long. Yeah, true, but I mean... for, for Our best I'm young guy right now, season. our best young guy right now is J uh, Connor Sheary or Brian Rust and Jake Gatzel. That's who I would say. Alright, alright, fair enough. Who, but who do I think uh, could help Sprong definitely? I think Sprong is desperate to get into the lineup the way he's been playing in the AHL. He's reached 30 goals now. I think if there's injuries, Sprong will be called up. Or, hell, we can even scratch players like Tom Kunakel, but Tom Kunakel is a good penalty killer. Yeah. Since you... Now talking about teams, since we, you and me have seen these two teams versus us in two years. In two years and a half. Columbus, we burst them last year in the playoffs. They're going to be deadly if they beat Washington in the second round. They will hit... They got Bobrovsky, a decent goaltender. Yeah. But the, they don't They're scare me exactly the most. They're not big fans of us. Yeah, they hate us. There's always fights. But the teams that scare me the most is Tampa. So if we were the burst in the conference final, we got there. They're the team that's predicted to win it all, Tampa. And they got a good player at the deadline for a trade. So that worries me. But another team that worries yeah. me in the second round is Washington. You're probably thinking, uh, we beat them two years in a row. But they were under pressure, though. This year, Washington's an underdog. They don't have a, a President's Trophy team. And they may finish first in the division, but Washington is not predicted to win. So there will be no pressure on their Washington. Yeah. So Washington scares me. Boston scares me. They destroyed us that one game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Teams that scare me that are even underdogs scare me. New Jersey scares me. Uh, New Jersey, really? Because they got Taylor Hall, Corey Schneider, and we only beat New Jersey once this year in overtime. Washington, oh, yeah, we I'm only beat right. them once in best of three games. Philly, I'm not afraid of, but I'm still kind of worried because anything could happen. Yeah. So let's go on to our final conclusion. Can this team win a cup for in our third year? Possibly, maybe, but I'm going to believe and try to have faith, but just the way they've been playing 5v5 and comes to consistent goaltenderness, goaltending is going to play a huge role and score in 5v5 and discipline. They can't afford to take penalties this year. N not this year. So, yeah. uh, staying realistic, I would say maybe, but I, uh, this is a diehard Pens fan. I would love to see a street Pete make history. Crosby be the first <laughs> to do it in the cap era. And this is my 10 year anniversary as a Penguins fan. I've been for 10 years now. 08 and 18 marks 10 years. So, s maybe. Yeah, you know. Crosby gets all these injuries. Yeah, yeah, that's he something. Never injures any, he never injures any players back that often. Because he's not like that, but injuries yeah, will... Yeah, I know, but like if you're getting so many injuries, bro, like what other choice yeah, do you have? Yeah, that's something that scares me in the playoffs is losing one of our stars. That will be a pro huge worry. Crosby wow. definitely because he's had multiple concussions, but... We would Malkin would be terrible too, or Phil, or one of our best defensemen, which we got lucky last year when we lost with Tang. We were still able to do it. So, yeah. any final thoughts on a street peat possibilities, if we can do it? Nothing much, but as as long as we can maintain our defense, which is going to be really hard, but um, our offense is looking good. Our defense is. Kind of bad, but it's fine. As Goal tending is the most important right? worry out of... Right, right, right. And we just need to keep it all balanced, and we might have a chance to win the playoffs. This is Kirk, and thanks for watching Penguin Chat, and I'll be t having another video separate who I think is going to be in the playoff picture for other teams. I'm out of here. Not bad.